Hey guys, it's Bryce here with yet another quick tip on how to assemble imported geometry. This vise was imported as a step file, which does not carry the mechanical associations. When importing CAD neutral data into Fusion 360, we start in direct modeling mode, where the timeline is turned off at the bottom. Also, in direct modeling mode, we do not get the option to create as-built joints, which are the bread and butter for assembling imported geometry. So let's turn on the parametric timeline by right-clicking on the top level and selecting Capture Design History. Notice the timeline at the bottom turns on, and I get the option for as-built joints. But we will come back to that in a second. Now all these components are floating in space. First, I always start by grounding a component that will not be moving in the assembly. So let's double-click on the base and select Ground. Next, a lot of these components are going to be rigidly connected in different groups. So let's box select different groups of components and hit the S key and start typing rigid group. This will lock them down rigidly together. I'm going to deselect components if I've selected too much. I will continue this process for other groups that are rigidly connected. Rigid groups will take all the selected components and lock them down relative to each other. So if I move one component, they will all move together as a group. Now we have come to the awesome part, as-built joints. In traditional CAD tools, I would have to break these groups of components apart to assemble them back together, based off mates. In reality, the components of imported assemblies are already in the correct location, but they do not know how they interact mechanically. As-built joints do not change the location of components, but they define the mechanical motion between two components. When making an as-built joint, select two components, then the motion type, then pick a position by selecting one of the snap points where components are going to pivot around. As-built joints have the same type of motion option as joints to simulate different mechanical mechanisms. Let's take this even a step further. This vise will open and close because of the screw mechanism. Let's create a motion link to simulate this motion. We will select the cylindrical joint, which allows the screw to slide and rotate around the screw axis. Using a motion link, we could specify the pitch of the thread to move two millimeters every rotation. Now there are a lot of degrees of freedom in this assembly, so I will lock down the ball joint to make sure the vise is closing properly. Rather than making two to three mates, which lock down degrees of freedom, use one joint to assemble components together. Joints start by locking down all the degrees of freedom, then the joint type is changed to unlock the correct degree of freedom to simulate the correct mechanical mechanism. Well, that's the quick tip for today. Until next time, guys.